All right, guys, so I dropped my magnet again over there, and I think I found a voodoo doll. What the heck? Oh, oh. it's voodoo stuff. Welcome back to another episode of the Michigan Magnet Man. We are here in Kearney, New Jersey doing some magnet fishing. I got Scuba Sonia over here with me. Now the last time we were here we pulled out a cauldron and all kinds of stuff in this area. We're really close to Newark. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get these magnets in the water and see if we can find some stuff here today. Now just past the sea while we're at, there's a ton of trash. It's a good sign usually. Thank you. If anyone is trying to go shopping, guys, I got you a brand new shopping cart. First one of the day. It's been a long time since I found these. These things are freaking heavy. Whew. That's what we got. <laughs> Take a look. That's the first knife of the day. It's a cool one, too. Yeah. That was a big old one. If you are looking to purchase a magnet like I'm using in this video, you can head over to www.brutemagnetics.com. They've got a ton of really good options. I'm using the Brute Boss, which is their 360 degree magnet, and I highly recommend it. If you are just getting started and you are a beginner, I recommend getting a 1200 pound double-sided magnet. It's a great way to get introduced to the sport of magnet fishing. And you won't regret that purchase either. When using the promo code SURFINGUSA10, you'll receive a 10% discount on your purchase. I hope this helps. I got bamboozled. <laughs> I thought it was a shotgun. <laughs> Dang it. You got over here. I got a look. Look at that. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> this might be the smallest fidget spinner I have ever seen, guys. <laughs> it's got a cool little rainbow design on it. You can't really tell. If you look right there, you can. Oh, that's so cool. That's tiny. A little baby fidget spinner. Does it spin? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With that last throw, I found a freaking Ford wrench. Now, I tend to find tools just about everywhere I go. Actually, this one looks like it might be a pipe wrench. Yeah, it's a pipe wrench. But... First tool of the day. Got a rope. Anything on it? <laughs> We're gonna find out. It's a big pile of rope though. Let's see if there's anything on the end of this rope, guys. Yeah, a shopping cart. <laughs> so the rope is connected to the shopping cart, guys. Oh, it's teamwork. What the heck? Oh, oh, it's voodoo stuff! No way! Is that There's a brace. Yeah, these are voodoo. What the Holy cow. Alright, well that just got interesting. No wonder I found the railroad spike. Oh, <gasps> this? Where'd it go? Those little tools are so cool. Yeah, we've got this little tool. Oh, yeah. A little <laughs> hammer. That seems like that shovel. This okay. thing is wild. That's a little oh. tall animal trap. That's so cool. A bracelet. The second railroad spike. Oh, my nose is itchy. <laughs> We've got a knife. Or I wonder if that has an engraving on it. Another railroad spike. Another part of that trap, I think. This bolt. I don't know what this thing is. It feels super light. Some kind of a stone, maybe? You should keep that. Yeah. What else? I can't believe it. Oh, there's more. A little anvil. Those are so cool. <laughs> that is crazy. A washer, which I wouldn't have thought would be in here. Another one of those stones. Another one of those stones. Another railroad spike. 
There's something big in here too. Another little gardening like tool. <laughs> All right. the big thing for the last. Yeah. I'm leaving the best for last right now. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if it's a little cauldron. Another little mini hoe or something. <laughs> yes. Is that a bone? What? No. Oh, no. Like, um, it's a little person. Thing. No, look at the other side. Does it have a head on it? Uh -huh. Yeah. The armor, like, like, uh, and it's got shells all around here. Look at that. It's a face. Let's find some good stuff, antiques. I was not expecting this, <laughs> for sure. I want to wash it off. I don't know what's in here. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. 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 That's sketchy. That's a little sketchy. So on that bag on the cart that we just pulled in, there's this head in there. It's got a face on both sides. We're gonna have to get that cleaned up. And some of the other finds that were in there were this mini anvil, an animal trap, it looks like. There's this little rake. This mini sludge hammer, a couple of hoes. <laughs> that is a crazy find. Now this is the second time we found witchcraft or voodoo or whatever you want to call it in this location. Stuff just keeps coming out. This is nuts, guys. After all that, I never even talked about the cart that we pulled up. That's the second cart that we found today. There you go. There you go. <laughs> that was a good throw. So now you just come and you pull it in real slowly. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> now you see that. That's right. Oh my gosh. Almost oh, gone. maybe not. That was real, that's fine. It's a piece of metal. You still got something. Yeah, you got something this time. Oh. Okay, guys, so we found that bag full of voodoo stuff earlier. And I've got another little saw. That doesn't look like much on that. that. And I also got another little rake out of that one. <sighs> Nuts. I just called it! Wow, that's an old one. Yeah, I literally just called it. Holy cow. Oh, my nose is itchy. Oh, man. You did say you had a feeling I'd get one today. I told you. Wow. And look at that. I think I've seen some better freaking days. Who knows? It could have been a murder weapon. Hi right, guys, and I got another railroad spike and this thing that looks like a Nike Swish. I think there might be some more of this voodoo stuff in there. Let's go check it out. All right, let's see what's in here. We got a railroad spike. We got another one of those little hoe tools. Another one of those animal traps, but it's missing the little chain on it. Another railroad spike. This looks like a knife blade or something. Saw, does it say anything on there? Not that I can read with my gloves. Little knife, it looks like. Here's another part to one of those traps. I've got another railroad spike. I got this little shovel, this little sludge hammer, got this little hoe. Now this is the second one of these that we've pulled out of the water today. The first one was connected to a shopping cart. I can't believe we found two. The first one had that head in it. There's gotta be that head down there. And then I'm not sure what this is. It's really soft and it looks like it could be a bone. That's creepy. This has a J7233 on it. It looks like a Nike Swish. I'm gonna do some research on that. It was in the bag. And then here's all the other voodoo stuff that we found earlier. All right guys, so I dropped my magnet again over there and I think I found a voodoo doll. I'm gonna go down there and try to grab it so you guys can see it and come with me. I'm just gonna make our way over through here. Now there's a lot of trash through this area. There's another shopping cart here. I'm also in flip flops. Don't recommend 
fishing in flip flops. It's not fun. I'm just gonna take this stick. I'm gonna throw some sticks down here. You got it. All right, let's put it up over here. That's a voodoo doll. Look at this, guys. A freaking voodoo doll. It's got its hands tied. This is freaking wild. Voodoo doll. It's got its hands tied with black and red ribbon. Its legs tied with black and red ribbon. The head is tied. I don't know what this is supposed to mean, but I'm not a fan. All right, guys, so this is probably one of the crazier days that we have had out here magnet fishing. Both Sonia and I both pulled up one of the uh, voodoo or whatever you want to call it bags that had all the little tools. There was a voodoo doll that we pulled out that is probably the creepiest thing that I've ever found. We got two shopping carts. Sonia found her eighth gun, so congrats to Scuba Sonia. If you guys have not, make sure you guys head over to her channel as well and give her a subscribe and follow her over on TikTok. If you guys are not subscribed to me, please hit subscribe as well and follow me over on TikTok. I've got a ton more followers over there and I post daily content there and you guys will not miss it. So without further ado, I'll see you guys next week. Boop, 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 boop.